Just this week, there have already been two domestic abuse related cases in the valley, both ending in death. Cameron County Sheriff's investigators say the most recent murder was of a Harlingen Elementary School teacher that resulted of a domestic dispute with her husband. CBS 4 Santiago Caicedo spoke to the district attorney in Hidalgo County to find out why these violent cases appear to be on the rise. In January of this year, police responded to a deadly domestic dispute in McAllen, which resulted in the murder of a mother and her 16-year-old stepdaughter. The father would then kill himself. 42-year-old Santos Berenice Garcia and her daughter were murdered by Garcia's husband, 30-year-old Cruz Piñon. And just recently, a domestic dispute also led to the death of a Harlingen CISD elementary school teacher at the hands of her husband. 36-year-old Jessica Cortina was killed with a gunshot to the chest, according to the Cameron County Sheriff's Office. Cortina's husband, Alvaro Mata, is charged with murder and in jail under a $10 million bond. Other recent domestic disputes have triggered Amber Alerts relating to a spouse kidnapping a child. Hidalgo County District Attorney Ricardo Rodriguez says domestic violent victims tend not to speak up and protect their family and their attacker and keep silent about abuse they might be getting. It, the same thing comes back to where they're protecting someone but themselves. You know, they're protecting the, per, the abuser, they're protecting their kids, they're protecting the family, they're protecting the household. You know, and, and you hear that a lot, and they're not to blame. They're not to blame at all. In 2013, the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office received recognition for their own program in dealing with domestic violence by the Texas Association of Counties for their work in training their deputies in handling victims of domestic abuse. Since 2015, the DA's office expanded its program from just one person to a dozen thanks to a million-dollar state grant. Besides domestic violence, you know, other, other victims of crime, we've put a personal uh, plan together, you know, for these individuals that come to the office. DA Rodriguez's office has created a checklist detailing what victims should do to protect themselves in a variety of situations, providing phone numbers to several agencies that can help them. And we welcome, again, we're not a crisis center, but if they have nowhere to go, they can come to the district attorney's office. We'll take them by the hand. We'll take them by the hand and guide them. In Hidalgo County, Santiago Caicedo, CBS4 Valley at 5. If you feel you are a victim of domestic violence, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233.